Good morning, folks. It's the 26th of September, and up here in the food plot, well, kind of a food plot. It's been neglected for the last year or two because I didn't have a tractor to work on it. But some big news happening here at, at the uh, at the farm. We finally got the tractor I've been wanting. 13 years in the making. We've had two sets of braces. We've had a dog get injured that cost some money to, to pay for. And we finally were able to purchase the tractor I've been wanting. I searched a lot for a 35 to 45 horsepower tractor around here, four wheel drive in that size is pretty, pretty hard to find in decent shape used and uh, just couldn't find one. Uh, had a friend of mine travel several states away just to find a four wheel drive, 40 horsepower tractor. Um, I didn't really have the means to do that. Don't have the trailers to, to haul something like that back and forth. So I reserved myself to buying new and probably a smaller tractor because I just couldn't afford a, a 45 horse brand new when that happened. So I uh, happened to walk into Lemons Farm Equipment again thinking I'm going to get a 35 horsepower tractor and um, bite the bullet and just do it. <clears throat> and my wife actually found a nice tractor used sitting on the lot that had just come in. And uh, they replaced a lot of parts on it and things like that, took care of it. And uh, so, hey, without further ado, let's just show you the tractor. So what we have here is a Massey Ferguson 1749. And it is a 48.3, so let's just call it a 50 horsepower tractor. 50 horsepower tractor, four wheel drive. Lots of bells and whistles on this thing. I love it so far. So not only did I get the tractor, I got a six foot box blade in the back for taking care of the driveway and all the four wheeler paths around here. And it comes with a bucket, of course, but it also, what I purchased was a grapple bucket in the front. And what this does is you can kind of figure it out if you don't know what a grapple bucket is. It's for picking up logs, brush piles, things like that. You know, I think when you're using this, you wanna make sure you have some weight on the back. And uh, I'm not gonna pick up anything massive. So I think that box plate in the back will do more than enough for um, what, what, what I'm gonna do. So I'll just walk you on the tractor here real quick so you guys take a look at it. But yeah, this is some big news for, for me. Like I said, 13 years in waiting for a tractor like this and I finally got it. So what we're doing today is, yeah, bow season's already started up here. I don't generally go out in bow season until at least the first week of October, probably the second week of October. It's just too warm for me. Like, I don't like going out when it's really warm out. Um, it's cold this morning. It's probably 50 degrees, 45, 50 degrees. But um, I don't like sitting out here in the evening when it's 70 degrees out. It's just not fun for me. So what we're going to do, we've got the feeder set up over here. And we're going to give that a few weeks to, to work. And I'm going to put my tree stand on that oak tree right there. So what I've got to do this morning is trim some trees back. So I have shooting lanes for bow season. I'm going to get rid of this tree here. It's already dead, as you can see. And then we're going to get rid of this little tree right here that's blocking some stuff. And we're going to trim up around here. So I have a clean, <coughs> excuse me, a clean path to walk into my tree stand from. The plan is there's no real other entry point into this tree stand. I have a tree stand back in the woods here. And what I had to do was either drive past the stand and park up on the ridge above it and walk down, which I don't like doing because you're driving right by your stand or park out here way up there by the ground blind and walk the whole way through the field and back through all these, you know, probably 80 yards back there to the tree stand. I didn't like doing that either because you're getting your scent all over the place. You know, you're, you try not to touch too much, but you're still brushing up against leaves and brush and things like that. Don't like doing that. It was a successful stand for several years. The last two years, I did shoot a buck out of it two or three years ago, but last year I, I virtually saw nothing. So we're going to bring it out here, <clears throat> put the stand here. Hopefully what I saw last year was they were coming up this ridge right here from the pond, coming up, cutting through here, coming out and going across this four wheeler path over there. So they were coming out to the field right here. You can see the path right here. They're walking through. See the path right there. And that's where the tree stand is going to be. So hopefully I can catch them coming out. Get them, to, get them to pause a little bit at the feeder here. 
and then catch them as they go, go through. So that's the plan. So we're gonna set up here, get these trees down, get this tree stand over here. I've got a tree stand back in there and it hasn't been real, I, have, I haven't shoot all, shot anything out of it. I thought it'd be a good spot, but it's just not turning out to be a good spot. I'm gonna move that stand from there over to here and uh, enough talking, we'll get to work. So yeah, but the main reason for this video is to introduce you to uh, the tractor. I need some names for her. I haven't thought of a name. My old uh, Ferguson was, of course, Fergie. I sold her. Um, she was a 1959 Ferguson 40. She's gone. She's got a better home. A young man bought her, and she, he's going to restore her completely. So that'll be nice. That'll, that'll look really good. Um, but this thing will be able to do a lot more work, being that it's four-wheel drive, got the grapple bucket, got the box blade in the back, you know. So I'm sure you'll see her out here more and more as we get to work. But I need a name for her. So comment down below a good name for this Massey Ferguson 1749. And again, I'll give you a little shout out. I'm not getting any compensation for this, but they're good people. So if you need a tractor, you need implements, anything like that, hit them up if you're near Parkersburg, West Virginia. There you go. I hear an owl hooting out there. I don't know if you guys can camera can pick that up or not but okay enough talking i'm gonna get to work but there she is name her give her a name for me and uh we got some other implements coming yet i'm gonna get a winch on the back of the tractor for pulling logs out of the woods things like that so yeah there she is give her a name we're gonna get to work see you in a bit okay we're gonna get to work i got the got my glasses on got my earmuffs on getting my gloves on and we'll go to work here. tree was getting hung up on me no I would not normally when a tree gets hung up I would not normally stand underneath of it and keep cutting on it especially you know not a bigger tree that was a small tree it wouldn't hurt anything so I just kept cutting from the bottom up it was hung up in that oak tree up there and those two branches I just kept cutting it down until it wanted to fall so I don't think I hindered their trail over here I was trying to do that and over here it is I did a little bit. They'll probably screw that around it. I might pull those trees out. But yeah, I needed a way to get in here and have clear shooting lanes coming out. So that's what I'm doing. That's the plan. And we're gonna put it on this oak tree right here. Got a flat area right there that I can uh, put the feet on. So now we're gonna go grab the uh, tree stand 
and get it over here and get to work putting that up. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Okay, there's the old stand. I just clipped it onto the gravel bucket and drug it over here. I have never had a problem putting these up until today or getting them down. I was, I unstrapped it and uh, I guess the feet weren't far enough away from the tree. <clears throat> when I started climbing down, she started leaning back away from the tree. Now I had this strapped in, the brace right here to the tree still. And, um, but she started to go backwards on me. I was about halfway down when I jumped off, scraped that finger up and then poor stubby here got the worst of it. So it's all right though. I did bend the frame a little bit, but I think I can just bend it back. We'll push that brace on it and it should be okay. But we're gonna put it in here and uh, that's where she's gonna sit for probably a few years. It's an old stand, but it still works. Everything's still good on it. So let's get to work. Are you filming? <laughs> it's up. Okay, tree stand is up. That was harder than I wanted it to be. She's done, so we're heading back. Get everything loaded up in the front, in the gravel bucket, strapped in. There's a tree out of the way, tree stands up, we're ready to go. Let's get out of here and not come back for about two weeks. I don't like moving tree stands even close to the season, especially not once the season starts, but I had some other stuff I was getting taken care of and yeah, long story short, didn't get done till now. So it's done. Let's get out of here. Thanks for watching. Hit the like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I will catch y'all later. Bye.